Hi guys, Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I received a very nice big parcel. I have been in contact with the people who make the jelly roll pens because I had been expecting a parcel from them and it had gone astray or something. It was taking ages and ages and ages to get to me and because they were so apologetic about this they said they would send me a parcel. I had no idea that it was going to be all this lot. Absolutely none. And so I have lots of these pens. Now they haven't asked me to make any videos or anything but I will obviously be using them at some point. Um, you know, I've not got any financial recompense for this or anything. They just sent me this as compensation for some delays. So, what have I got in here? Ooh, lots and lots of stuff by the looks of it. Um, all right, these are the Moonlight pens. So these are fluorescent and will show up under UV light. This looks like the Souffle pens. Yeah, that's Souffle. Um, now the interesting thing with souffle pens, I've used them before, if you're using them on some surfaces you don't really see that much of an effect, but souffle pens can be used to write on non-absorbent surfaces and they will dry. They won't be dishwasher safe or washing up safe or anything like that, but you can use them for decorative ceramics and basically anything that doesn't absorb ink. So it will actually lie on top and it will give you a kind of chalky look. Um, they're very nice actually. What have we got here? Ah, these are glaze pens. These ones again are ones that you can use on coated papers and hard surfaces and they will stay looking wet basically they are slightly raised and they will give a slightly wet finish as if you had just given your drawing line a bit of a varnish so these are really great I do like glaze pens these are the metallics I think yeah jelly jelly roll metallics so I've got some of those I've already got some jelly roll metallics as well and Aha, these are gorgeous. These are the Stardust pens and I already have some of the clear ones, the um, colourless variety, but I didn't have any coloured ones and now I've got a selection of coloured ones. Ooh, I foresee lots of sparkle coming up. And what have we got here? All oh, right, okay, Koi colouring brush pens, and these are water-based dye stuff ink. So let's just have a look at the nib on that. Okay, so proper fine tip brush, basically like water colouring. So I can imagine those being very, very useful. Oh, it's like Christmas come early. And what have I got here? Okay, so I've got more stardust ones, more metallics, uh, more moonlight fluorescents. I don't think I'm going to have to buy any pens for the next 10 years. So there we go. That's my unboxing for today. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm really looking forward to using these. I'm so excited. Take care now. Bye bye.